Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about intervals of concavity. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the third power minus 2x squared minus 2. And we want to find the x coordinates of the points of inflection, discontinuities, and the open intervals of the function, where we're concave up and concave down. Now we have a basic polynomial function here, and we know it's actually continuous everywhere. So we would say right off the bat that no discontinuities exist. All right? So no discontinuities exist here. Now to find my points of inflection here, I need to take the second derivative, but I first need to take the first derivative. So f prime of x here of our function, power rule, 3 comes down, x subtract the exponent by 1 to 2, minus 2 times 2 is the 4, x subtract the exponent by 1, so it's a 1, that's it. Derivative of constants, just 0. From there, I need to find my second derivative, f double prime of x. Power rule comes down, 3 times 2 is a 6, x to the first power, minus just the 4. I now take my second derivative, and I have to set it equal to 0. We have a 6x minus 4 equals 0. Add a 4 to both sides. We have 6x equals 4. And divide both sides by 6. And x equals a 2 thirds when we simplify that. So now I need to do my second derivative test. I take 2 thirds here. 2 thirds. And I need to plug in a value less than 2 thirds and greater than 2 thirds into my second derivative. I picked for my second derivative uh, 0. And I got an output of negative four when I plug it into the second derivative. From there, that says, well, I only care that it's negative, and that means we're concave down here. I take my second derivative again, plug a value greater than 2 thirds, and I picked one, and that came out to be a positive two. It's positive, that's all that I care about, and that means it's concave up. And again, that's a second derivative test. So now we have all the information we need to answer this problem. Our point of inflection, where we change concavity, is a two-thirds. So I would say inflection point x equals two-thirds. Our concavity, we're concave up on the interval from two-thirds to positive infinity, but we're concave down on the interval from negative infinity to a two-thirds. And so again, our final answer here is no discontinuities exist. Our inflection point is at x equals two-thirds, and we're concave up from two-thirds to positive infinity, and concave down from negative infinity to positive two-thirds. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.